Welcome to the Enst Brapser video tutorial. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation of profile configuration and the meanings of each configuration. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Select the Profiles menu and click Create Profile. Fill in the name here. A simple and manageable name is recommended. Here is the profile group to fill. You can select the name of the group you have filled in to match it. The next step is to choose the use agent settings, like operating system or browser version. The browser kernel currently supports Chromium. And for operating systems, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux will all be supported. The startup URL refers to the web address or URL that will be loaded automatically when the profile is launched or opened. It is the initial web page that will appear when you start using the browser with that specific profile. You can set a specific website or web application as the startup URL to have it load as soon as the profile is initiated. When creating a profile, you can use your local proxy or you may need to set up a custom proxy to protect your privacy or access specific network resources. Let's take a look at how to fill in custom proxy related information. First, proxy type. This refers to the protocol used by the proxy server, such as HTTP, HTTPS, or SOX. Choose the appropriate proxy type based on your needs. Next, we have the proxy URL. This is the address of the proxy server, which can be an IP address or a domain name. Make sure to enter the correct URL to connect to the right proxy server. Then we have the host and port. These are the host name or IP address of the proxy server along with the port number. Enter the correct host and port information to establish the connection to the proxy server. If your proxy server requires authentication, you can fill in the proxy username and proxy password. These fields are optional and only necessary if the proxy server demands authentication. Lastly, whatever the local or custom proxy, don't forget to check the check proxy option by using a different IP checker. This will test the proxy connection during the profile creation process. Alternatively, you can save your proxy options in the proxy section of the left sidebar and load them here to use them. And the specialized parameters in the hardware section will be able to influence the environmental fingerprint. However, Ents Browser will create the most appropriate values for you according to its algorithm. I'm going to pick a few of the more unfamiliar concepts to explain so that you can better understand how your profile is generated. WebGL is a technology used for rendering 3D graphics in the browser. It allows web developers to create impressive interactive 3D scenes and effects. Enabling or disabling the WebGL parameter controls the WebGL functionality within the profile. WebGL metadata provides information about the supported version of WebGL. WebGL vendor indicates the company responsible for the WebGL implementation, while WebGL renderer shows the graphics card or rendering engine used for WebGL. These details are essential for identifying and differentiating browsers based on their WebGL capabilities and characteristics. Next is Canvas, an HTML5 feature that enables drawing graphics on a web page using JavaScript. The canvas parameter controls the canvas functionality within the profile. Then we have rect, which is used to detect whether the browser supports obtaining the rectangular dimensions of the screen or window. This can be used to identify unique characteristics of different devices or browsers. Audio context, on the other hand, is part of the web API used for processing and manipulating audio data in the browser. Enabling or disabling the audio context parameter controls the audio functionality within the profile. Now let's talk about noise and real. Noise refers to the addition of random elements in the fingerprint browser to simulate more realistic browsing behavior. By enabling the noise parameter, you can simulate random behavior within the profile, increasing its complexity. On the other hand, real represents the option to mimic real browsing behavior as closely as possible. Enabling the real parameter ensures that the profile behaves more like a genuine browser, reducing the risk of being detected as automated or robotic. This page is for advanced settings. All the configurations you see now are defaulted by system, 
but if you want to have a detailed understanding of each parameter or customize it, please continue watching. From top to bottom in the IP section, all parameters will be set by default according to your IP address. Language is one of the basic browser fingerprints. In general, the language should match the region of the environment's IP address to make the environment more secure. NST Browser will automatically generate the corresponding language based on the IP address. You can also manually adjust the language as needed. Time zone. Similar to language, the time zone should match the region of the environment's IP address for increased security. NST Browser will set the corresponding time zone based on the IP address but you can also manually adjust it. Geolocation. The Geolocation API is part of the W3C HTML5 standard and provides a simple high-level JavaScript API that allows websites to request the actual location, potentially compromising user privacy. NST Browser provides several modes, including blocking websites from accessing location, allowing websites to ask for location, automatically generating location based on IP, and manually setting location. WebRTC is an open standard and technology that enables browsers to perform real-time audio, video, and data transmission through a simple JavaScript API. By enabling or disabling the WebRTC parameter, you can control the WebRTC functionality within the profile. There are also explanations under the respective buttons. In the browser section, do not track is highlighted. It will allow websites to track personal information in the current browser environment when disabled. Then this section on the left is an overview of all your parameters, and clicking on this button will generate a new random fingerprint. When you are ready to set up all the settings, click on the profile to go to the next step. Once we've created it, let's look at the main profile page. Here you can perform a series of actions on a profile that has already been created. Click the More Actions button in the Operations column of the Profiles form to bring up the Actions drop-down. Select Edit to access the Profiles Update page. After modifying the fields you want to edit, click the Update button. If you want to do unified management, you can move a profile to a specific group. And we also support Import-Export Clear Cookies. Worth noting here is the Import. Please import cookies in JSON format which currently supports JSON format data. Exported from browser cookies using extensions like Cookie Editor. Also, you can manage the history of the profile to enable it. You need to move the profile to a specific group and enable sync profile history data in the group settings. Details will be placed in the next video. And now we support saving up to 10 historical environmental records. This is also the place to check your proxy usage logs. Then it also gives you the option to clean up local cookies and cache. Well, that's it for today's profile details. Feel free to join us on social media to give us your feedback. We'll see you next time.